Happening right now, a CDC committee wrapping up an emergency meeting to decide which groups will be the first to receive the COVID-19 vaccine. They're set to vote on distribution in about 30 minutes. We know healthcare workers are at the top of the list, but Paolo Soro explains how the process could work with limited supplies to start. Officials reiterating today that there won't be enough COVID-19 vaccines at first due to a constrained supply, so choices had to be made. The CDC recommending to stagger vaccination of healthcare personnel who work in similar units in case they all experience any side effects. Members of the Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices said it will take partnerships with local and state health departments to make sure smaller hospitals are able to stagger those vaccinations. According to the CDC, there are about 21 million healthcare workers in the U.S with about 3 million of them in long term care facilities. In the three hour meeting, the committee mentioned there will be 40 million doses available by the end of December to cover up to 20 million people in the U.S. They expect about 5 to 10 million doses per week once the vaccine is authorized. The CDC also talked about how each COVID-19 vaccine will have an emergency use authorization fact sheet. Healthcare systems and public health should work together to ensure vaccine access for healthcare personnel who are not affiliated with hospitals, which could include home health, community services, or broad practice types. Coming up at 6, we look into the health check systems that the CDC is recommending those who receive the COVID-19 vaccine use.